Mathematics Success Book 3 The first SLO we are going to work on is Roman number. Read Roman numbers up to 20. Write Roman numbers up to 20. Let me tell you what are Roman numerals. It is a number system which used letters to express numbers. This number system is developed by ancient Romans. Hence, these numbers are called Roman numerals. The Roman used the letter I, V, X, L, C, D, M. Today we are only going to learn numbers till 20. In Roman numerals, I is equals to 1, V is equals to 5, X is equals to 10. When we have to write 1, you just write I. I is equals to 1, 2 I's is equals to 2, 3 I's is equals to 3. For 4, we are not going to write 4 I's. For this, I, V, is equals to 4, V is equals to 5, V i is equals to 6, V i i is equals to 7, V i i i is equals to 8, i and x, i x is equals to 9, x is equals to 10 x that is 10 plus i is equals to 11 x plus i i is equals to 12 x plus i i i is equals to 13 x i v is equals to 14 x v is equals to 15. X V I is equals to 16. X V I I is equals to 17. X V I I I is equals to 18. For 19, X I x is equals to 19. To write 20, x, x. 2 times x is equals to 20. There is an interesting fact which I want to share with you. There is no numeral in Roman for number 0. You know why? Because at that time, 0 was not invented. So, there is no numeral for 0 in Roman numerals. Write Roman numbers up to 20 on the notebook. The way I have told you, just write these numbers in your notebooks. When in the Roman numbers, to write in the Roman numbers, 2 is equals to 2 i's. 7 is equals to v and two i's after v. 16 is equals to x, v and i. For 20, how are you going to write 20? Yes, 2x. Even in odd numbers, observe the following. There are four pairs of two balls each. We see that when 8 marbles are arranged in groups of 2's, no marble is left. But when 7 marbles are arranged in groups of 2, one marble is left. All those numbers which can be put into pairs are called even numbers. For example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. These all can be arranged in groups of two, so they are even numbers. 
all those numbers which cannot be put into pairs are called odd numbers 1 3 5 7 9 11 these are the odd numbers observe the following table in which the colored numbers are even numbers and the remaining numbers are odd numbers just see that the numbers which are colored blue can be arranged in the groups of two so they are even numbers and the numbers written in white strip are odd numbers the first even number is two remember this the first even number is two and the first odd number is one when two is added or subtracted from an even number Except 2, the result is an even number. When 2 is added or subtracted from an odd number, except 1, the result is an odd number. A number which is not an even number must be an odd number. For this third part, when 2 is added or subtracted from an even number, just see, uh, if we subtract 2 from 6, the result is even number. 6 is an even number. You, are, you subtract 2 out of 6. The result is 4. Exercise 1a. Write the number in front of each Roman numeral. X stands for? Yes, 10. I, V stands for? 4. X, I, I, I stands for 13. X, V, I, 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 18. This is how you are going to do it. Question number 2. Write the Roman numeral in front of each number. I am going to do part A. Rest of the parts will be done by you with the help of your teacher or you can do it yourself. 7. Now for 7, V, I, I. That's good. Encircle the even numbers and cross the odd numbers. Even numbers are those which can be divided by 2, which can be put in groups of 2. 7, 20, 45. Now which is the even number here? Yes, 20. Because with 20 balls you can make 10 pairs of 2 balls in each. Wonderful. And cross out 45 and 7. This is how you are going to attempt the rest of the questions. Count the objects and write in Roman numbers. Count the objects and write in Roman numbers. How many clocks are there? Six clocks. For six, for five clocks, what are you going to write? V. And for the remaining one clock, I. V, I makes six. There are eight reading glasses for eight you are going to put five reading glasses in one set five plus three makes eight that means v i i i yes this is how you are going to attempt the rest of the questions yourself Coming to place value of a five digit number. Yesterday our teacher asked us about the place values of numbers. How can we find place value? 47261. People went to a cricket match between Pakistan and India. We can write the place value of this number as below. Now you remember that we have to always begin from the right hand side. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand. Now start 
from the right hand side you put one under ones, six under tens, hun two under hundreds, seven under thousands, and four under ten thousands. How are you going to read it now? From the leftmost side. When you write, you write from the rightmost side. When you start reading, you write from the leftmost side. 47,261. Here are four ten thousands, seven thousands, two hundred, six tens, and one once. This is equals to 40,000 plus 7,000 plus 200 plus 60 plus 1. So we read it as 47,261. Fill in the blanks in 12,586. 6 is at which place? Ones place because it is at the rightmost side. In 38,403, the value of 8 is what? It is at thousands side. So the value of 8 is 8,000 and it is written under thousand place. In 74,761, 6 is at which place? Yes, it is at the second place from the right side. That means it is at tens place. Good, you can do it yourself now. And circle the number in which the place value of 5 is 500. Now look at the numbers. 100 comes if you start counting from the rightmost side. The digit which denotes 500 is at the third place. Now just see in these numbers the placing of 5. Where is it at third place? In the third number it is at the third place. That is 22,000. 543. This is how you are going to attempt the rest of the questions. Write the place values of the digits. Now digits are given here and you have to write their place values. What is the rule for the place values? You always begin from the, yes, from the right, most right hand side. Now 6, what are you going to write in this column? 1s, 1, 10s, one, 2, 100, 7, 1000, the next 7, 70,000, right? This is how you are going to do these questions. Now coming to numbers up to 10,000. The greatest one digit number is 9. Also, one more than 9 is 10. 10 is the smallest two digit number. The greatest two digit number is 99. And if we add 1 to 99, it becomes 100, which is the smallest three digit number. Is that clear to all of you? The greatest three digit number is 99. Now the biggest number, we read 1000 as 1000. The fourth digit from the right is set to be at thousands place. This is already done. Now you can do exercise 1C. Read and write given numbers up to 10,000 in numeral and words. If you just see, how many thousand cubes are here in the picture? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9,000 cubes. 
let's look for 100 cube set 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 700 cubes and how many cubes for tens 1 2 3 3 10 cubes and 2 1 cubes let's put them together 2 under 1 3 under 10 7 under 100 and 9 under 1000 so how are we going to read it always read from which side yes from the leftmost side 9732 this is how you are going to attempt rest of the questions